Bendigo Health is a leading healthcare provider in regional Victoria, known for its high level of professionalism and its engagement with the community. We have a clear vision, healthy communities and world-class healthcare. We know that we will achieve that by empowering people and working together in a caring, passionate and trustworthy way. Hence the birth of the Bendigo Health Surgery Journey media presentation. As the perioperative services staff are very passionate about what we do and wish to share this knowledge with our community. Surgical admissions is the first step in your surgical journey. Judy? Hi, how are you going? If I could just get a couple of signatures off you, please. Judy, can I just double check that I've got your address right? Yes, Is yeah. it Jasper Street in Daniloquist? Yes, that's correct. And you're coming in under Mr Snell? Yes, I am. And your GP is Mr Salvador? That's correct. Okay. If I could just get a couple of um, signatures. Okay, Judy, if I can just get you to sign here. This just says you're coming in as a public patient today. And if you could just pop your name and a signature, this is just so that information can go back to your GP after the procedure. Okay. Yeah. Judy, if you'd just like to have a read of our surgical journey information, that'll just let you know what's happening today. Okay, thank you very much. That's good. My name's Stephanie. I'm one of the nurses here. I'm just going to check a couple of details and then I'm going to do an admission, get you ready for surgery. Okay. So I've got Judy Inglis in here. That's correct. And your date of birth? 17th of 454. Good. And your address? Jasper Street, Dinamica. Fantastic. You're coming in today for an excision of your right arm lesion? That's correct. That's correct. Let me see if I've got a consent. In your here. admission process, the day surgery nurse collects and records your observations with a brief medical history. Your temperature, pulse, blood pressure and weight are recorded. The authenticity of your surgical consent is verified and your fasting status obtained. Any allergies you may have are recorded. The application of red identification arm and leg bands highlights that such exist. Otherwise the bands are white. You will receive a visit by your surgical teams. Hi Judy, how are you? Good, thank you. A little bit nervous. Oh, that's alright, that's completely normal. Yeah. Now, a couple of things we need to go through now. Certainly. Firstly, um, this is all part of our surgical safety checklist. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, firstly, can you tell me, I know what your name is, but yeah. can you please tell me what your name um, is and also your address? Um, Judy Ingerson, mm -hmm. Jasper Street, Daniela Okay, and can you tell me your date of birth? 17th of 454. And Judy, the next thing we'll do is check your consent. And I know what we're doing, but can you just one more time repeat for me what you're having done today? Um, I'm having a lesion off my right arm, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, I think it might be melanoma, and I'm a little bit yep. concerned. Yep, okay. And do you know what we're doing? We're going to cut it out, and then what, what are we doing after that? Um, we might do a little flap. Okay. You just told me you might do a little flap. Yeah, good. Now, the other thing is I've noticed you've got a red... Uh, hand or armband on there. Now remind me what you're allergic to. Erythromycin. Okay, very good. Alright, well that all seems to check out. So the consent's complete. We've both signed it. Okay. okay, do you have any final questions at this stage? Um, yeah, um, how long will I have a thing on there? Am I going to have a dressing? Or? You'll have a bandage on there and we'll keep that bandage on for a week until you come and see us in the uh, outpatients clinic. So right. this is a day procedure, you'll be able to go home today okay. all right, and there'll just be a small crepe bandage on and just leave that in intact until you see us in clinic. All right, okay? thank you. One last thing before I do go is I need to actually mark the site uh, where we're going to do the procedure today. Right. So what I might get you to do is take your scarf and jacket off. I'll just duck out and grab a texter and I'll be back in a minute, okay? All right. Okay, Judy. Now, can you please point to where we're yeah. doing the procedure? Yeah. Okay, is that right? That's correct. I'm just going to place this mark on here right. so that uh, we now have the surgical site marked. Okay? Alright, thank All you right. very much. Thank you, Judy. The anaesthetic team also pays you a visit. Hello there, how are you going? Good, thank you. My name is John Eddington. I'm one of the anaesthetists and I'll be giving you anaesthetic this afternoon. So I just want to start with a little bit of a formal thing if you don't mind. Can you tell me your name and your date of birth? 
Um, Judy Ingleson, 17th and 4th, 54. Okay, and what are you having done today, Judy? I'm having... Your anaesthetist not only checks your personal details and allergies, but also delves a little further into your medical history, such as your general health, dental care, any previous operations, and any past or current medical conditions. You're encouraged to report any adverse episodes or experiences you may have experienced during or following your previous anaesthetics. We encourage you to raise any questions or personal anxieties you may have at this stage. So now, I just want to tell you what we're going to do. It's nice that you're nice and fit and healthy. Your asthma is not really a concern from our point of view. Okay. We'll check your chest out when you come into the theatre right. and we can give you drugs if you do start getting asthma. Okay, okay? thank All you. Right. Yeah. So when you come into the operating room, we're going to put a little drip in the back of your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the other one obviously, yeah. because they yeah. need that one. And then we'll tell you everything that we're doing before you go to sleep. Okay. okay? There won't be any surprises. Okay? Oh, thank All you. Right? Yeah. And apart from the drip, we'll put some monitoring things like yep. stickers on your chest okay. and a blood pressure thing on, yep. your, on your arm. Okay. I'll tell you everything that's happened just before you go to sleep. We'll give you a bit of oxygen by mask. Mm -hmm. And then we'll tell you when you're going to go to sleep and you'll just drift off to sleep. If this hurts when I've had it, yeah. um, will I have pain? Okay, with? yeah. No, so what, when you wake up, you'll be in the recovery room, which is where we take everybody after mm -hmm. the operation. Uh, it's very important. There'll be plenty of stuff written up for you in the notes okay, for the nice nurses stuff. to give you. And also, I'll be giving you anti-pain stuff while you're asleep. Oh, that's great. Okay? Yeah. But if you are sore when you wake up, there'll be plenty of stuff written up. But you've got to remember, the nurses can't feel your pain. Only you can. So you have to tell them. Don't try and be tough about no, it. Okay? okay, thank you. And you tell them and they'll give you stuff. Thank okay? you. Yeah. And then afterwards, um, when you're... When you're left the, the operating room, there'll be more stuff available to you and you just need to ask okay, for that. Okay, thanks so much. Sometimes after anaesthetics people feel like they want to be sick. Yep. And the same thing Actually, that does happen occasionally to okay. me. Okay. It's just important that you tell them, even if you're a little bit sick okay. after the operation. Right. Again, I'll give you anti-nausea uh, drugs yep. during the operation, yep. but if you are feeling a bit, a bit nauseous at the end, you need to tell them. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Do you have any questions, any other questions about no, the anesthetic? No, that's, you've really helped me a lot. Okay, good. So your case will be done in about an hour's time, so okay. I'll see you then. All right, thank you All so right. much. All right, it was nice to meet you. We'll okay, see you well, soon. Okay, thank you okay. so much. Once your admission process is completed, you're collected and transferred across the corridor and into the day surgery unit, where you'll change into your theatre attire. Hello, my name's Judy. Yes, I'm Terry. I'm a volunteer here. Uh, are you warm enough? No, a blanket would be nice. You love a blanket? Yeah, Judy. Oh, Have a look at that. Thank you so much. And we'll just pop a blanket across your knees. Oh, okay. If you're warm. Yep. Nicholas and Judy here are ready for you now. So just grab your stuff and come for a walk around here. Come through. Hi Judy, my name's Kim, I'm one of the theatre nurses and we're just going to check the paperwork again before we take you any further, okay? okay. So you just check your armband there. Yes, can I check that leg band? Yes, Judy Ingleson, yeah. 2483234. 248234. Two, what's your date of birth, Judy? 17th is 454. Beautiful. And what are you allergic to? Erythromycin. Okay, lovely. And what are we doing to you today? Um, I'm having this lesion taken off my arm. Okay, good. Any questions about that? Uh, no, no, no. Miss, Mr. Snell and, and uh, my nieces has seen it all for you. Good day. And when was the last time you had anything to eat or drink? Uh, 10 o'clock last night. Okay. And all your own teeth, no plates, dishes, no, no, no hearing aids? No. You've removed all your jewellery? Yes. Good day. And all right, I think, and you've had your pre-med, so I think we're just about good to go. Um, the anaesthetist will be up here shortly. And you've got your hat there, so we'll get you to pop that on okay, for us okay. so you can look as gorgeous as okay, everyone else in here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Yeah, now, so this is Kelly. Hi, Judy. I'm Kelly, I'm the anaesthetic nurse looking up here today. Hello, Hi, Judy. Hi. How are you going? Judy's having a lesion removed off her right arm and she's allergic to urethromycin. Right. Ready to go? Yes. We'll take you down to the end. Judy, this is Ilona. Ilona's one of the theatre staff. We're just going to check your paperwork and your name bands and everything again. So we've got Judy Ingleworson, 248 234, 17th of the 4th, 54. She's having a melanoma removed off her right arm there and she's allergic to the leaf. Arithromycin. Arithromycin. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Okay, now uh, it's been marked there. That's yes. good. And you've got the red band on. Yes. Okay, Judy, so what I have to do now is just pop a little drip in the back of your hand here. Okay, this is might just sting a little bit, but not too bad. Okay. Thank you. So this is some cold stuff just to clean your hand. Your anaesthetist inserts an intravenous cannula into a vein and any other lines, epidural or spinal, that may be required. Before induction, the anaesthetic nurse holds an oxygen mask over your nose and mouth. This is not putting you to sleep, simply filling your lungs with oxygen. Once asleep, you're transferred the short distance into the operating theatre and positioned onto the operating table. Monitoring reconnected, extra supports positioned as required and surgical area prepared. A timeout is attended before surgery commences. This is referred to as the surgical safety checklist. All right, some of the notes. Yep, I'm happy for you to go. All right, so the first thing we'll do is all introduce ourselves. I'm Gordon Snell, plastic surgeon. John Eddington, anaesthetist. Kelly, um, anaesthetic nurse, pillow nurse, scout nurse. Bruce, strong nurse. Excellent. All right, let's go through uh, checking the patient. All right, who have you got there? Judy Ingerson, mm -hmm. 248234. Yep. Fatal birth is 17th of 4th, 1954. Do we know what the allergy is for? Erythromycin. Erythromycin, okay. And that matches the patient details and the consent reads excision of malignant melanoma on her right forearm and local flap. Um, John? Do you have any concerns for No, nope, just you want to know, do you want antibiotics for this? Ah, uh, yeah, two grams of this. Okay, okay, that's with that. Okay. Nurses, Wait, all equipped, we've got all our equipment, necessary yep. equipment, necessary imaging is displayed, yeah. and we have a pot labelled with uh, right forearm lesion. Yeah. A surgical count is attended before and at the completion of surgery. Two four eight two three four right forearm lesion. Informalin. Thank you. Thank you. Let's check the specimen ID with the patient ID. So we've got Judith Ingwerson two four eight two three four. Date of birth the seventeenth of the fourth of nineteen fifty four. Yep, that's all right. Excellent. Any specimens taken are recorded on the IPM computer system. A surgical sign-out is conducted before patient leaves the operating room. This is done, this might be a good time to do a sign-out. Yep, thank you. Um, so the name of the procedure? Is uh, excision of malignant melanoma on the right forearm, local flap. Yep. Uh, the counts are all correct. Yep. The specimen has been labelled. It has. Any equipment issues to be addressed? No. And any key concerns for recovery and management? No. Thank you. With the assistance of the anaesthetic nurse or technician, the patient, once in the recovery room, is reconnected to monitoring and positioned appropriately. Surgeon, anaesthetist and theatre nurse will review the key concerns to the recovery nurse for the recovering and management of this patient. She's a 55-year-old lady who has had um, a, a, an excision of a lesion in her right arm. We have a little bit of a moment by Mr. Snell. Um, in the process, she's asthmatic, uh, but she's been fine throughout the procedure. And then serotonin benefits. So let's put some local anesthetic in there, so it really shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to do, but in case, I've written up for some.
Yes. Yeah. 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 When the recovery nurse is satisfied with the progress of recovery, if staying overnight, you'll be transferred to a ward. If going home, you'll be transferred to day surgery unit for approximately one to four hours in preparation for discharge. How are we feeling, Judy? Not too bad, a bit drowsy, but pretty yeah. good. Good, oh, well your blood pressure's looking good. Have you got any pain in that, thing, in that arm? No, not at the moment. Oh, fantastic. How do you feel about getting up and dressed then? Yep, that yep. sounds... Move you next door for a cuppa. All right, that sounds great. Fantastic. I'm just going to get some... Anything's all right. We'll get you a cuppa. We'll give you some instructions and I'll come take this bung out of your hand and you can go home. Okay, all right. Thank you. No worries. Judy, how are you feeling? Not too bad, thank you. Good. Would you like a cup of tea or coffee? A cup of coffee would be lovely, thank you. And a sandwich? I don't eat butter, have, and I'm vegetarian. So if you're good uh, in... I don't know whether we have butter on them or not, to be honest. What about dry biscuit and cheese? That would be lovely, Judy. What? I'm just going to give you some instructions to take home, and then I'll get this out and you can head off, all right? So you just need to keep that um, wound area clean, dry and intact until we come back to your review in two weeks' time at clinic. OK, how's that sound? Yes. Good. Yes. Fantastic. We'll get this out of your hand and then you can head off. Sorry. Nice job. Just pop a bit of pressure on that white drop for me. Good, oh, you're good to go. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Judy. Bendigo Health's perioperative service is a caring environment. Patients' well-being is our focus. We believe educating our patients improves your overall experience and ultimate outcome. We hope that the Bendigo Health Surgical Journey helps with your journey.